Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I have an everyday drugstore makeup tutorial for you guys. And this is kind of like the look that I've been going for. Not that we can go out or anything, but you know, when I do want to spice it up for the living room and when I want to take a picture, this is usually the look that I go for. So it's very just like soft glam. Before you watch, please click like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We hit 30,000 subscribers. 30, three zero 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 zero. That is insane. Thank you so much, everyone who has subscribed and who continues to watch me and like and support, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Do not ever get it twisted. And let's get into that now. Don't mind what's going on over here, okay? I can look in the mirror. Y'all don't need to tell me how crazy I look. I will fix that. It's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I will post a, st st a statistic here that says 61% of people who watch my videos are not even subscribed to my channel. It's like, like, why don't you just press it? You don't want me to show up on your subscription feed? Like, just do it, you know? It's gonna help me out, it's gonna help you out. This is in fact a new setup. Um, I just wanna try something different. You know, it's not everyday plant in the background like everyone else. First of all, how are you guys holding up through quarantine? I know this is like some, some strange, strange times. I just wanna come on here and hopefully make someone's day a little better or more entertaining. I went online, I went on e.l.f. Cosmetics, and I'm so happy that I was able to find my shade. Cause you know, ordering foundation and concealer online can be a little iffy, like sometimes you get the wrong undertone cause you can't actually test on your skin, but these I think are really, really close matches to my skin tone. So, these are the two shades that I'll be using today, Tan and Honey. And I think that these are genuinely like good products. I don't think I've ever had a satin finish foundation and it's a game changer for sure. You can just tell that my makeup looks different in a good way. I got these, they were they retailed for like $8 and I can honestly use one or the other but I like to mix both since I have both. All I've been doing during quarantine is eating, watching TV and eating, like for real. Let me know what you guys are doing to pass the time. New fave. This is like a perfect match, like seriously. My neck has these lines on it. Does anybody know how to get rid of these? No? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to just live with it. I finally got into Breaking Bad. Years later, I know I'm very, very, very late. I need to put some foundation on my lace because it's so light. I just need to like blend it in. It photographs really well, like I love the way it looks in pictures. I've been I've been doing this makeup routine in all of my recent Instagram pictures. Oh, by the way, the names of these foundations are the Flawless Finish Foundation, and these are the 16-hour uh, camo concealers that I got from Elf. That I also got. So this is like mainly an Elf-based uh, makeup tutorial. I went on the website and I saw the prices and how affordable these products were, and I kind of went crazy. Yeah, I went crazy. Like. It was just too good. I was like, let me try this out, let me try this out, let me try this out. And I think I ordered three packages in total and I think they all came out like total. Like I got a lot of products. Like this isn't even like half of it. I'm pretty sure I spent less than $100. It was like crazy affordable. Like it makes me think I like stole from them. Like why are your products good and affordable like this? Didn't even tell you guys. I shaved off half my eyebrows. Can you not, can you see that? There is half my eyebrow missing. I'm trying out a new shape for my eyebrows and I like it so much better. It's basically, if you guys watch my TikTok viral, trying out viral TikTok makeup hacks, I tried drawing on a straighter brow and one day I just went crazy in quarantine and I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Let me just shave off half my eyebrows because I like the way it looked and it was time for a change and I feel like now is the best time to experiment with your hair, your makeup, your eyebrows because you're not really going out and seeing anyone and if you mess up, you have enough time for it to regrow. Okay, so this is in the shade, I got Deep Caramel. This is more of a yellowy undertone and this is Tan Walnut because I like to go in with a lighter concealer after to really brighten up the area. So yeah guys, I hit 30,000, like that's, I know it's not a, a huge number but it's, it means a lot to me, okay? It means a lot. Like when you start from zero, any number greater than 
1,000 subscribers is just, it's an accomplishment because that means you've reached out to 30,000 people and they've decided to click that subscribe button because they like your videos. So it just means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me. It just makes me so excited for, to see like the future and how far I'm gonna go with this YouTube channel. I washed all of my makeup brushes yesterday because I'm like, you're filming a video, sis. So I'm just gonna let this settle a little bit before I blend it out. It's crazy. Like even just looking back at my first couple videos that I posted on this channel, it was like last September and we're almost gonna come up on a, no, we're not coming up on a year now. If I get to 40,000 subscribers, by September time, I will be so happy. Okay, so the thing about these concealers is they dry very fast. So I'm getting a little bit too carried away. Let me start blending. And these blend so nicely. Like, if y'all don't go to e.l.f. and cash out right now, and let me know if you guys have tried this pro these products. And I've heard nothing but good things about these 16 hour concealers. I can wear this all day and my makeup will look the same. After a long day of filming, taking pictures and stuff, it'll look the exact same and you know, what more can you ask for, honestly? Everyone's affected differently by this quarantine. There's both good and bad that you can take from the situation. Like the good is that it's giving people the opportunity to really refocus, um, see which direction they're trying to take in their life and you know, I think if you use this time wisely, you can really come out a different person. But on the other side, if you don't want to take this time to do that, that's totally fine too. And if you're trying to stay alive, trying to stay healthy, you know, bond with your family and do, you know, do the stuff that you've been missing out because you've been so preoccupied with your regular life. I've been, I've been getting good at cooking, guys. I'm currently filming a what I eat in a day. Regularly, I'd be on my keto stuff. Um, and I'd be dieting and stuff, but right now I'm just kind of eating crazy, you know? I finally fixed my sleep schedule. That was a whole mess, guys. I mean, I was going to sleep at like 5 a.m., waking up at like 2 p.m. It was just, my day was backwards, and it was like that at the beginning of quarantine, and I'm so happy that I like fixed up because now I feel normal again. <laughs> I don't feel like a zombie when I wake up so late. In the beginning of quarantine, I actually enjoyed it a lot more than now because now it's just setting in that like the uncertainty of all of it is just like, that's what's confusing me because I feel like I'm a very, I like structure in my life. And I know a lot of people's like plans were canceled, like people's proms, graduations, weddings were canceled because of COVID-19 and it's like, I feel for you guys to always look at the positives in every situation and at least you're alive. Like there are people who lost their lives, family members to this virus and to just be grateful that you are still living. Yes, plans were canceled and you have to, you have to reorganize a couple things and, or miss out on a couple things, but you're still living, you're still breathing and you should be grateful for that. I'm going to contour with, this is Rich Chocolate. And this has like very red undertones. I love it for contour. Again, you have to move really quick with this because they dry very fast, so. This is also the e.l.f. Um, small stipple brush. Like, I feel like I don't have control over this brush. Like, it's just too flimsy. And I need a smaller, more compact brush. Don't worry guys, it might look crazy now, but it's gonna look good. Just wait. Just make sure everything is blended. I used to just bronze, like I never really contoured my face before. I would, I would contour with bronzer. And you know, if it's too harsh, you can always go back with your foundation brush and just blend it in. Everyone, everyone feels the exact same way. We're all just waiting for it to be over. And even when it's over, like not to be, uh, I'm a realist, when it's over, like won't it just keep spreading? Like, unless you build up the immunity for it or you've already had it. I don't know. Contour the edges of my nose. I just want to put you guys on to a couple. So I've been watching Mella Childs. I love her videos. She is so funny. Her makeup always turns out so good and I love her conversation. Um, Paige, Sako Paige Sikoski, I love her videos too. I just love her vibe. Aaliyah's face, Aaliyah J, uh, 
Colleen Diaz, Dana Alexia, like these are a couple YouTubers that I've been watching. For my eyebrows, a lot of people have been asking what I've been using. So first I go in with an eyebrow gel. Elf eyebrow has a side for the eyebrow and the eyelash. So the little, the half brows that I do have, I brush them up. And I know I look ridiculous with half my eyebrows on, but I promise, promise it'll look good. And I've been trying to film, but I honestly feel unmotivated and the content, like when I put out subpar content or I don't like what I put out, I get like extremely like down on myself. I'm like, okay, you're not gonna upload until it's good. Don't waste these people's time. So, you know, like my last video, my morning routine, I wasn't happy with that, but I knew it wasn't a bad video. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna post that. But there's videos where I'm literally excited to post and that wasn't one of them. And I feel like every other video that I filmed was. So I know that I'm slacking or I'm just not feeling my, my like 100% self, which is most likely the case as well. I don't wanna talk about it and focus on it because it's just such a negative topic overall. And I want you guys to come here to watch something like uplifting, but it's just the reality of things right now. I really feel like we all need to hold ourselves accountable to the things that we were going to do before this quarantine started and, you know, still try to do as much as you can with what you have, you know, just don't shut out completely or like forget about the direction that you were going on. Like you have to hold yourself accountable for not taking this time to improve your business or doing little things that can help it pick back up once this is over. So yeah, it's a very down and relaxed time, but you still need to get shit done. Like. There can be days when, when you do things and there could be days where where you completely take the day off and just chill, but don't break the- I watched Patricia Bright's video and she said don't break the same habit two days in a row. It's gonna keep procrastinating, so. I wanna talk about something uplifting, like I'm tired of this topic. Everywhere I turn, it's coronavirus. I feel like we're all at that stage where like we've just accepted that this is kind of our realities for a very long time. And we've accepted the fact that there is in fact no summer. <laughs> it's done. It's gone. She left. That ship has sailed. It's gone. Any plans that you had for summer? She's gone. Just accept that, you know? That's okay because you will live through so many more summers and there are other people who don't get to. Instant Lift Brow Pencil from e.l.f. And I got both black and brown, but I'm just gonna use the brown because it looks more most natural on, on me. I don't like the way my eyebrows look today. That's crazy, guys. I do this a million times, and then the one time that I do it on camera for you guys, I don't really clean up the top as much. But the, you see how it's like standing up now at the front? I love this little like feathery trend. It is such a look. Not how I typically do my brows. But again, I'm using this time to really experiment. This is like the perfect drugstore finishing um, finishing mist. So this is a dewy setting mist and it smells like coconut. And I'm gonna just highlight the points that I want to really be popping, you know. So this, you can, you know, you can do this if you want. If you don't wanna do it, that's fine too. But I just like to go in and brighten areas that I think need to be brightened. This time I'm gonna bring the concealer up a little bit higher to my nose and really try to like snatch her. Does anybody have like one side of their nose that's like totally different from the other? Like, and you notice it when you're doing your makeup. This side of my nose is so weird. It, it never contours right. It doesn't look right in pictures. It's just totally different. And I'm just gonna bring that concealer up too because we are gonna, we're gonna prep it for our eyeshadow. Blend it in with my foundation brush that I use for the rest of my face. Really get that proper brightening look, you know. <laughs> I'm very inspired by Mella Child's makeup. She likes a very bright under eye and I agree with her. I like that look, like it 
I always liked it. I just never knew how to do it properly and I'm still learning without looking like a ghost, you know. You know, I'm just learning how to do it properly. But I really, really like a bright under eye. This Maybelline Fit Me powder is seriously the best. I don't like baking. I don't like baking, okay? So we are just gonna powder that on to places where we concealed and highlighted. Guys, this e.l.f. makeup, I'm letting you know right now that you're you're not missing out. I mean, you're missing out. <laughs> this is not sponsored, but if e.l.f. wants to sponsor me, they can go ahead and do that. You know, they can actually go ahead and do that. When I go back, you guys can actually see how my makeup looks. Brush that I contoured with and go around here because it's a little too bright. If I still have any left on here. It was just a little too bright there. I also got a palette from e.l.f. as well. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Summer and it really, really reminds me of a beautiful like summer shade. This is like such a nice everyday shade. I got this long ago before this order came. It's in the shade Midnight. And I've been lining my eyes a little different. So I usually go straight out with it, but now I go like a little bit. I start from like here and I go up. Let me just show you. I can show you better than I explain. I always get nervous before I do my eyeliner. Is it because it's like, bitch, you better not fuck it up. And I really like this shape because once you put those falsies on, it really gives your eyes like a nice, like it pulls your eyes up and it looks really good. Okay, let me not like to try to touch my eyebrow with it, but that's essentially the shape that I go for nowadays. There is like literally no part in my hair. Sis, get your fucking life together. Oh no. It's a wig. Like what am I trying to really prove? It's a wig, it's not my hair. Anyways, um, other eye. This is such a nice blush palette. I got this, um, I got this in the shade dark you have bright pink you have like a more soft peachy pink if you want so i see the two neutral shades and i'm gonna just layer these on i saw something on tiktok that said you're supposed to put blush like on your outer cheekbones like not bring it up to here because especially if you have like a more circular face it'll really help to kind of give you that contoured look but I like to bring my blush up to here <laughs> just because I like that look if you don't like it you don't need to do it and I even put some on my nose like blush is my favorite it makes me feel like a cutie pie <laughs> Okay, I'm going a little crazy with this blush. We're going to put on our falsies. You have to put on your mascara. I love putting on my bottom lashes now. I used to never be her. I used to never be this girl. But look at me now. Look at me now. I can't find the top, the name, but I will insert it. I will insert a picture of it. I can't find the lid, sorry guys. These are the lashes that I've been wearing. I've also been trying a different way to apply the lashes. I haven't been following my natural lash line. I've been applying it a little bit higher to give me, again, a lifted effect. A little bit higher than my real lash line. And I like to always push my lashes up. See, my eyes look so much more fluttery. That's the word. They look more fluttery because of the angle that I put it on. I put them, especially at the end, I try to put it a little bit higher than my actual lash line. I'm gonna use NYX in Cappuccino.
I told you about Praline and now I'm gonna let you guys know about Champagne Glam. Okay, let me let y'all know about Champagne Glam. First, I go in with Praline. It's just, it's just, it's just. You honestly, you don't need the lip liner. You can just do it without it. And then I like to go in with Champagne Glam on top of that. And this is just a really pretty, I don't know how to, like, champagne-y lip gloss. And I go on top. And it's like, double the gloss. These are lip plumping. I believe they're only $6. They have a great shade range. Even when I'm done my makeup, go back in and make sure everything is blended out. Okay guys, I am all done. This is my everyday drugstore makeup look. This is a little bit extreme. Like, on my everyday, I don't really wear that much makeup. But if I am going out or if I want to take a picture, this is the glam that I go for. This is the everyday natural glam, soft glam look that I go for. I hope you guys are all staying safe and um, healthy during this quarantine. And you know, there will be better days coming. Just let's thug it out. Let's thug it out, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And a like will really go a long way too with other people seeing this video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in my next upload. Sticky.